going to quickly show you a little bit about masks in Cinerella. Uh, I have two video tracks here, same two video tracks I've been using in most of my tutorials. I'm going to move the bottom video track up above the audio ones so that they're next to each other just to make uh, things seem a little bit easier to understand here. Now you can see uh, that I have one video track, we're viewing the top video track. I can turn that track off and you can see the track that's underneath it. Uh, but let's say we wanted part of the bottom track to show through the top track. So basically we're going to create kind of a window to see through the top track using our edit mask tool right here. We click on that and we're going to make sure that we have the top video track selected as our, our editing track. Now that we have that done we can just start drawing our little mask here and as you can see wherever I draw this mask tool to you can see through to the second layer. Uh, also what's great is you can turn on key framing and you can move some of these and it sets a key frame for them that you can see uh, indicated by this little green wavy line right here on the video and I can go further in the video and now move those points somewhere else and you can see the two points there and you can see we can cause the uh, mask to follow something so if you wanted to track something uh, you can do that or if you want to eventually just have the mask completely uh, be hidden you can do that as well just by moving it off the image and as long as you have the keyframes uh, button set uh, it will set those keyframes for you and your tracking will work like so uh, but I'm going to show you how to make that uh, a little more useful is I'm going to open a project I've already started of me it's two clips of me bottom clip me talking and pretending to talk to myself and then I have a top track of me coming in and talking you can see I've already started to make a mask here now the first thing you have to line up the two videos uh, in, in the timeline the way I did that was just I looked at the audio of the file for a visual uh, and then you can also lower the uh, opacity of the top video track that way you can see both tracks and I can kinda see how I'm interacting with myself before I even uh, start working with the mask you can use in the scene all day yeah I'm gonna do uh, a thing yeah cool go ahead um, okay so let's finish our little mask here uh, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna find a point where I'm the furthest over in the video and right there you can see my fingers coming out I think that's the furthest over I get in this video clip so we're gonna start creating our mask and we're gonna move these dots so that you can see the under video of me like so I'm gonna add another little dot over here now you can see I'm talking to myself now I recorded these videos at the same time one minute after another so the lighting and everything's the same doing that will save you a lot of time if you film them at different times the lighting is going to be different you're going to have to adjust the brightness and contrast maybe some levels and possibly even hues to get the videos to blend um, properly but in this case uh, you don't really that you can notice it too much because uh, yeah, I'm gonna do oh. a thing. Yeah, cool. Go I film them at the same uh, time. Uh, once you have them lined up, you can also trim down on the video. I have to select those for editing. I'll trim it down because I don't need that last little part. But I guess let me pull that back out for a second. You can also see that I get up there and you can see me getting up even though it's outside the mask. And that's just because there's no video in the top track on uh, in at this part of the video if there was you wouldn't see me I would disappear as I went past the mask there so we'll trim that up we'll hit shift R to render and then you'll name it choose whatever format you want to render to uh, which I'm going to choose raw DV since the video is already raw DV I'm going to just click uh, render it's going to tell me I already have that file saved I'm going to overwrite it and you'll see that as I've mentioned in the past it should only render the parts that need to be recompressed which is the parts with the mask the beginning and end part of this clip don't need to be recompressed because they're already in DV format videos already done being saved uh, there's a link uh, right here in the video to view the final product I hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope it's helping you see that Cinerella is a great video editing program once you learn how to use it it's free it's open source and uh, for more free and open source tips 
and tools, uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. Plenty of videos there. And uh, just enjoy. Feel free to comment and rate this video.